you know the feeling. You're walking into the cafe, happily about to order a cup of Americano, when the pungent smell of rotten eggs hits you. It's wafting from the mouth of the waiter, and you're just itching to run away. Halitosis, or bad breath, ruins the lives of one in four people, although some estimates raise the figure to 60%. Most cases of halitosis can be blamed on the bacteria inhabiting your mouth. If you don't brush your teeth or floss properly, food particles remain embedded on or between your teeth. Bacteria that aid in digestion helpfully proceed to digest these residues of poor dental hygiene, producing chemicals known as volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs, as byproducts. Examples of these bacteria include the Solobacterium, Dialister, and Bacterioides genera. VSCs are released from the tongue or the throat and to the outside world. These VSCs are the source of the rotten egg smell that is linked to halitosis, which is also commonly associated with sulfur. A common VSC is dimethyl sulfide, which is sadly the source of the distinct odor of sewers. In general, VSCs are damaging to both the environment and your health. Of course, poor dental hygiene is only a piece of the puzzle. Other causes of halitosis include smoking, consumption of specific foods such as onions or garlic, xerostomia or dry mouth, or less commonly, tonsil stones, gum diseases, diabetes, and oral infections. Some of you may notice that your breath is particularly stinky in the mornings, right after you wake up. (sighs) This odiferous phenomenon arises due to the reduction of saliva production during sleep, which allows for the digestive bacteria to accumulate. Hence, Sleeping Beauty's breath alone would have been able to incapacitate any prince who dared approach her. Fortunately for the three quarters of the world that isn't plagued by bad breath, halitosis is relatively easy to eradicate, brushing your teeth at least twice a day for two minutes each time. Along with Doro flossing, prevents the buildup of these VSC-producing bacteria. Similarly, drinking plenty of fluids, preferably water, aids in washing away the plaques of bacteria that build up. Mouthwashes and rinses help freshen up the mouth by suppressing the number of VSCs inside the mouth. In some rare cases, this is not enough to prevent halitosis. If you happen to be one of these unfortunate people, seek out the help of a doctor. While fainting princes and misguided Americano servers may be fictitious, the social shame that surrounds halitosis is very real. Thank you for listening to the Information Institute. Stay tuned for more episodes.